Hi, this is Alex Eichel Camp, and today we're going to get into our sandbox for PF determination uh, set. So we have seen this graph before, right, where we're looking at different PF values at different moistures. What this one can do is really look at this lower range. So we're looking at zero to about two. That's the max that this piece of equipment can do. And that's because uh, this is the sandbox set. So to do it, this uh, chamber here is filled with a, uh, uh, a lab grade sand, very, very consistent sizing. Uh, and what you'll do is you'll actually take our 53 millimeter sample rings where you've grabbed your undisturbed sample. You have your sand layer, you have a nylon, and you'll actually be able to place it directly on top of it. Why do we do this? Well, because we want to apply that suction to calculate your PF. To do that, you actually have this system here. Uh, you loosen it, you pull it down, and you are, you're actually pulling and applying a suction to that soil sample. Uh, you then have to wait, let it wait for equilibrium. You'll adjust it a little bit more until you can get to the, the level you need. The reason it can only go from zero to two is because we're limited by how much vacuum we can apply here. Uh, this one is, let's see, I don't know, about a meter or so tall. If we had an infinitely tall tower, we can apply much, much higher. But that's where we need to get into external vacuum sources, uh, such as with our membrane apparatus or with our uh, sand and kaolin set, where we actually can apply a, a much, much stronger suction than we can do here with our small little water tower.